very much a greedy guts when it comes to knowledge or, or very much a nosy parker and very inquisitive always need to know you know what's going on or why something works the world that we live in is such an interesting place you know and if you stop for a minute and just take a look at it and want to find out more about it, it becomes even more wonderful. On this trip, what I'm really looking forward to is meeting scientists who are really passionate about what they do. It's going to be, I suppose, a trail of discovery across Europe. You know, it's going to be very exciting. We're, we've a lot of uh, different stops from, like, you know, Liverpool to Turin. Have a passport, we'll travel. <laughs> That's definitely my motto, I think, yeah. Um, you know, I've done a little bit of traveling around Asia and everywhere I go, I seem to always end up in the science museums. Dublin hosting the City of Science in 2012 is really exciting. It's the perfect venue for this event. I think it's a huge opportunity for Ireland to really engage public in, in science and show what we're doing and how we're doing it and to, I think, get the young minds of Ireland to, to get involved in science. Science is a really collaborative field of work and uh, we humans like to collaborate. Is getting to understand the real world that we live in in more detail and sharing it with others. I loved science as a child. Um, I used to ask my sister, I insisted on her reading um, The Science of Sleep to me, that was my bedtime story. Um, we have these wonderful row of blue encyclopedias, I can still see them so vividly. I think it's definitely the way forward for science to engage public and young people. My future, I feel, holds a mix of science and communication. I would like to knit these two things together and that's what this project is all about and I'm really looking forward to that. Thank <laughs> you.